Happy Friday, everyone, and welcome to Long Lean Arms. We've got 20 minutes today, and I'm gonna encourage you to put your straps on your power plate. If you want to use dumbbells as well, go ahead and grab a light set of dumbbells. I'm gonna ask my DJ to do that for me. We're also going to do some of those weighted moves. Now you can absolutely do this entire workout without a power plate on the floor and without weight. Also, if you don't have dumbbells at home, grab a set of canned goods or some kind of slightly weighted object that you can use for this workout in addition to those straps on your power plate. We're gonna be doing, again, 20 minutes long lean arms. Um, it's summertime here where I am, so it's tank top weather, sleeveless weather, time to break out the arm muscles that you've been working on with the power plate. So set that plate to a low setting. That means 30 to 35 hertz low, or if you've got a personal plate, just set it on low. If you have a move plate, level one or two, then you wanna set it to vibrate for nine minutes continuously with the larger units or with that personal plate, 60 seconds, one minute, and then keep that fob in your hand so you can keep hitting that repeat button. Did I give you enough time? Have you grabbed all the things you need? Yeah? Cool. All right, DJ, hit it. I'm gonna start the timer. We're gonna get going. <laughs> So come on down, arms are gonna be right on top of your plate. And then push down into the floor. Maybe a little bit of side to side movement. Again, you wanna move, keeping those arms static on the plate, utilizing that vibration, just opening up through the back side to triceps, biceps, and your back. You've got about three seconds. Two and one. Now, take your arm, placing it right on the plate. We're going to stretch and open up through the bicep, shoulder, and chest. So we have this all in contact with the plate. If you're on the floor, feel free to open up here, stretching through those shoulders, chest. You've got about five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Switch arms. So, other arm right on top of that plate. Just side on, bring that vibration into that shoulder, chest, bicep. Again, maybe a little bit of dynamic movement. About five seconds left here. Four, three, two, and one. Go ahead, come on up to plank position. Elbows are soft, you can also be on the knees. Just another great way to bring that vibration into the upper body. As well as the core, we always need to do a little bit of a warm up for the core so that it's ready to keep us strong when we're doing a bit of lifting. So, again, if you're just popping in, you're going to want your straps today on your power plate, as well as possibly a set of dumbbells. Four, three, two, and one. All right. It's a really quick warm up. Remember, we can warm up so much more quickly on top of the power plate. So we're going to start with those light dumbbells. Come right on top of your plate. Bring your dumbbells with you. I'm going to turn to the side just a little bit. Soften the knees. We're going to row, narrow row for 30 seconds. So pull those dumbbells right to the hips. Now from the front, you can see just traveling straight to the back. Those dumbbells moving up in a nice straight line. So we're really training through the mid-back area. Pulling those shoulder blades in and squeezing or giving your spine a little bit of a hug. 10 seconds left. Again, you're on that power plate. We're set to 30 or 35 hertz low or level one or two on your move. Three, two, and one. Go ahead, sit those down. Come down into that plank again. In plank, you're going to tap the opposite shoulder, keeping hips nice and steady. So from front on, it's going to look like this. Trying to keep our shoulders really level, hips really level as you tap. Just move right through that. Three, two, and one. Back up top. 
We're going back to that row. So join me. You've got about 10 seconds to transition. Get those dumbbells if you want them. Bend over and let's row. Now our back should be nice and flat. Spine long, core tight. Now doing this on top of the plate is just gonna force more muscle fibers to work more often. So we're gonna get more out of the exercise. Halfway. Keep squeezing, you should feel this work right through the back. Five seconds, four, three, two. All right, set those down, let's transition back to the floor. Get there as soon as you can. All right, clock is ticking. Back to that shoulder tap. Now, if you find that your hips are rocking side to side like this, so there's a lot of movement, go down to the knees or maybe just hold the plank. It's more important that we do this with great technique than to try and just take the hardest option there is because you're going to get more out of the exercise. You're going to have better results with better technique. Three, two, and one. We've got about 10 seconds to transition. One more round, back to the top. If you're getting those dumbbells, grab them and let's row. Again, squeezing shoulder blades together, pulling your elbows up nice and high behind you. Keeping that back nice and flat or spine long. Think about pushing your chest down. Pushing it right towards the floor. We've got less than 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come back down one last time. Move as quickly and safely as you can. Get back into that plank. And let's tap those shoulders. Now, how do you keep those hips from rocking like this? Lock in. Really think about bracing through the middle so that when you tap, you're really steady through this area. That's going to force those abs to work so much harder. Four, three, two, and one. All right. Take a breather. Get a drink. Thank you guys so much. For those of you just joining, you can put your straps on your power plate. Grab a set of light dumbbells. We've got about, oh, 10 more seconds. We're going to get started on our second set of exercises. So light dumbbells, we are going to continue working back and chest. First exercise, reverse fly with dumbbells or just squeezing the hands. Five seconds. Let's go ahead. Get them on top of that leg. And we're going to take those palms. Face the floor and then come right out to the side with those hands. So again, we're in that bent over position and squeeze it right to the back. Now, avoid swinging the dumbbells. Move with control. Slower is better. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Carefully set those to the side. Transition to the straps. I want you to hold. Thumb through the bottom. You've got about three more seconds. Fingers over the top. In a split stance, we're going to press. So lift the elbows up. Press away. We are working the chest. So resist with that foot in the floor. If it feels more comfortable to be feet side by side, that's good too. For me, it feels more comfortable to be in that split stance. So kind of a long lunge, driving those straps as hard as you can. Oh my, lift those elbows up. We should be feeling the burn. Four, three, two, and one. Oh my gosh, that was making me sweat. All right, 10 seconds to get back up on that plate. Grab those dumbbells, and we're going back to those flies. In three, two, let's go. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Upper back, upper back. That's what we're working now. Now again, muscles, not momentum. Keep those eyes on the floor and move slowly. We're over halfway. Remember, keep your plate vibrating. Some of you are going to be hitting that nine minute mark. Three, two, and one. Back down to the chest carefully. Set those hands. 
side. Grab those straps. Remember, we get just a little bit of transition time. All right, get it vibrating. Off we go. 30 seconds, pushing it away. Lift those elbows up, driving away from that plate. So, the vibration from the power play actually travels through the straps. So again, we're still activating more muscles more often. The other thing is, it's subconscious. So sometimes those inactive muscles that we have don't flex, don't activate, they do with the plate. All right, three, two, and one. Mine stopped vibrating. All right, one more time. Back up on the plate. Carefully bring those dumbbells with you. And let's go, 30 seconds. Last time through these two exercises. I love, love, love lifting weight, working with straps on top of the power plate. First of all, because I just love lifting weight. But what I found is that obviously, you can cut your workout time down significantly. You can work out for far less time and get better results. Three, two, one. But the second thing is, I can get a cardio workout while I'm lifting weights. So I can burn a ton of fat while lifting weights. It's a nice little bonus. Come in, elbows up. Let's work the chest. Press, press, press. So you can write down so that those arms are about chest level. You know, when we look at someone, if you saw someone doing this exercise and you had never been on a power plate, think, what are they doing? Then when you try it, you realize how incredibly challenging this is. Muscles are activating, the burn is real. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! All right, sweat is happening already. This isn't even cardio. We've got our third superset coming at you. Again, we're gonna do a combo between weights and straps. So take a drink, towel down if you need to. Still got about 10 seconds before we get started. We're gonna do a rotator raise. So check this out, if you want dumbbells, you're gonna hold, flip up, down, and in. Up, flip, down, and in. Small weight, if you're using one, these are tiny little muscles. Three, two, and one, let's go. Again, core is nice and tight. Lifting those elbows, flip in and down. Again, moving really slow. If you find that you have any kind of pain at all, lose the dumbbells, lose the weights. Do this with just your body weight, squeezing your fist. You're still gonna get some great work for those muscles all the way around that shoulder joint. About 10 seconds left, and then we're gonna grab the straps. Four, three, two, one. Go ahead again. Set those down on top. Bring your straps with you. We're gonna work biceps. So palms face the ceiling. We're gonna pull up and then press out. So join me when you're ready. Working those biceps. As always, when we're on the plate, we always want to keep a little bend in our knees. Weight forward in your toes. We have to remember that sitting on top of the plate is like jumping, basically. The plate is leaving our feet and then coming back and hitting our feet. So just like when we jump, we always bend our knees to jump and bend our knees to land. Same thing, we want that athletic system to be engaged and ready when we're sitting on top of the plate. It's gonna make things far more comfortable. Three, two, and one. Go ahead, set those down. Back to that rotator raise. Got a little transition time. Come back up on top. Three, two, and let's go. Tiny little muscles in the shoulders. Working really, really hard. But these are the ones that will help keep that shoulder strong and safe. 
shoulder. It's one of those joints we use so often and really take for granted. This is a great exercise to really keep it strong. Feed those muscles with oxygen with your breath. 
abs tight, 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 and switch one last time. Lift those elbows, pull with those straps. Last time, then get that big break again. Oh my gosh, you guys, I can feel sweat running down my back. Woo! And we're standing still. That is what is so awesome about the power plate. We're not even moving and I'm sweating. I hope you guys are too. I hope you're not sitting at home watching this eating cupcakes, yeah? Bend over, lift those arms right to the ceiling. Lifting weights does not make you big cupcakes too. All right, so jump on your power plate and get to work. Pushing, keep that strap really, really tight. Don't give up. Three, two, one. Oh, do you have jello arms? I feel like, you know, one of those things at the car dealership that they put out to blow around. That's some jello arms. All right, last bit of break. I don't know, I start to ramble on here. This is it, our last superset, and good news. We've smashed the arms. We're going to do a little bit of core. So get that mat back on top of your power plate. Let's finish things off with core. V in, V in. So hands are behind you, extend and pull in. Now the longer you make the body, the more challenging it's gonna be. So if you'd like, if you feel like you're starting to lose technique, come back here, bend the knees, keep them bent. Using those hands for a little bit of support. Exhale as you lift. That's gonna help you contract all the ab muscles. Three, two, one. Side plank. Coming on to your side, lift up. Elbows a little soft. We're just gonna hang out here until it's time to switch sides. Now you do have some options. You can go down to your forearm. You can also go down on that bottom knee for a bit of support. Three seconds, we're gonna switch sides to one, switch sides, I'm gonna swing it around so I can still see you guys. Again, soften that elbow, reach up, stack everything on top of one another. Lifting up, up, up here, that hip headed right to the ceiling. 10 seconds left, we're gonna go back to the end. We're only doing this two times around, so you can hang in there. All right, this is one, we have one more. Three, two, one, V in. Back to these. Combine that leg extension with a crunch. Roll your belly button into your spine and exhale. Shh. Fight to the end, last time through. Less than 10 seconds. You're gonna go back to that side plank. Five, four, three, two, one. Coming on to your side. Again, put that bottom knee down, or maybe go down to the forearm if that's more comfortable for you. But aim to keep those hips lifted and abs braced. This is when you have to imagine someone's gonna come up, punch you right in the stomach. You wanna be ready for that. That means your abs are braced. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, and switch. Swing it right around. This is the last 30 seconds of work. Try to get that shoulder right up over the hand. Let's finish strong before we stretch. 15 seconds here. Breathe, breathe, breathe. 10, I'm gonna keep counting you down. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, back to that child's pose. So come back, arms right on the plate. Stretch back, head behind the plate. Good morning, good morning, see you guys. Let's stretch before we just wrap things up. You're gonna get blood flow back to those muscles. That is what starts that recovery process. It's how we build lonely muscles. We've got to allow them time to repair themselves and it's blood flow. 
stretch both at the same time so holding on to them just lean away opening up through the chest thanks you guys so many of you just keep joining week after week we appreciate it rotate through those hands hopefully you are seeing the positive results of working on top of the power plate not just through weight loss and fat loss but more importantly it's about quality of life health and wellness and the power plate can do that for you with the amazing things that it can do for our hormones for our lymphatic system for our immune system that's the real benefit of power play easing aches and pains and just allowing us to do the things that we want to do in life pain-free with better range of motion and maybe even look at them feeling a little better right right all right thank you guys so so much now you know how we have to end on a Friday, like we end most workouts, right? Well, a little dance. I'll see you guys next week, Wednesday and Friday, 8 a.m.